today's Madden 21 tip breakdown, I'm going to be breaking down a really, really good route combination that you can utilize from under center to really do some damage against your opponent, especially if you can establish the run well in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time coming to my channel, basically what I do is I post four videos every single day here on YouTube that provide some type of tactical and practical breakdown for you that can help you improve your game in Madden 21. And again, I don't claim to know everything about this game, but what I claim to do is I try to work really, really, really hard to consistently get better every single day at this game. And so if you're interested in getting better, I want to encourage you to go ahead and subscribe and join this journey with me. All right, guys, we're talking about I-Form Slot. This can be found in the West Coast playbook. There's also other playbooks that it can be found in. But the play we're going to be going over is PA Cross Will. And I actually really like to have um, the stretch in my audibles, the dive in my audibles, and then I like to put the PA Cross Wheel as my play action audible for whenever I uh, want to run it. And what I would encourage you to do is you want to put your best – uh, your best route runner, your stud receiver on the far left, and then you want to put your fastest receiver in the slot position here. That's Marquez Valdez-Scantling. And then I'm going to put Robert Tanyan in at the tight end. And at fullback, I like to have two good backs. Um, but if you have like a fast running back, I would put him. If you have two fast running backs, I would put your second fast running back in the fullback position and your primary back in the tailback position. That's what I've got set up for the Packers. And we're going to take a look at this PA cross F wheel play. It's really, really, really good especially against the nickel 335 wide a lot of people like to use the 335 wide and we're going to show you how this can really really burn it um, for different uh, big time plays so first and foremost when you're running this if they are you know if they're being soft against the run feel free to run the ball um, the halfback dive is really really good the halfback stretch is also really, really good. What's also really unique about these, um, what's really, really unique about the iForm slot this year, in my opinion, is how well bubble screens work against man-to-man. -man. So if they're running man-to-man, -man, this is man-to-man -man coverage with pass commit uh, to try to stop this stretch alert. You're going to see that this bubble screen on the left side is going to somewhat get open if you throw it early enough. So if you see man-to-man -man coverage and you throw it early enough, you're going to be able to pop these bubble screens off for quick yards against man-to-man -man coverage. What's really nice about this is the only real way they can stop it is by going to zone, which then is going to leave them vulnerable to two things, the run and this PA cross wheel play. Now, let me show you this against man-to-man -man first, and then we'll go over zone in just a minute. I don't really make any adjustments this play, honestly. I like to leave the play action. You don't have to do that. And what I would honestly do, if you don't want to have the play action on, is take Jones and just put him on a swing route to the left, and that is your first read. If you can hit Jones, I would hit him. And what you'll see is, now against man-to-man, -man, if, if you see the linebackers like kind of run at Aaron Jones, I wouldn't hit him. But if they're in zone, let me show you what happens. If they're in zone coverage, like they kind of flatten out like that, you're going to have a numbers advantage over here. And oftentimes you're going to get that, that uh, fullback serving as a lead blocker for your running back. So and oftentimes they'll kind of fake out on the run. Here you see a couple good jukes and we are off. So it's a really, really good play. Now before we move on to the next routes, what I want to encourage those of you that are watching to do right now is to go ahead and text me. My number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the description of this video. But those of you that text me, what I will have you guys do is basically join my texting membership. My texting membership, very simple to sign up. All you have to do is text me. Let me know that you want to receive those. But every single week, I only send out one a week, but every single week I sit down on Monday mornings and I sit down and go through my texts and I send out a a basically a mini guide within a text message okay so what we do is we sit down we went through and kind of created a mini scheme mini guide for the minnesota vikings playbook and i sent it out to all of my texting members so if you want to receive something like that these are kind of for the people that want to get those exclusive tips those high level tips that's what I do on Mondays, but I only send it out to text message members. I don't post it on YouTube, and I don't post it on the Discord. It's just through text message. So if you want to receive that, all you got to do is text me. Again, my number is 812-216-3644. All right, guys, so back to this. Um, if they're running man-to-man -man coverage, though, and you can, like I said, you can leave the play action on. The play action actually works really, really well for man-to-man -man coverage. You see, that, you see what happens to Tyler Irvin. When you leave the play action on, 
it really makes it difficult for the defense because they have to now pass commit, and pass committing is not something that people like to do. Pass committing is not something that people like to do, especially when they're trying to stop the run. You're going to see that if they don't pass commit, this fullback right here is oftentimes going to be uh, wide open, or if he's not wide open, you'll get this crossing route wide open, or you'll get the um, the deep post to Devontae Adams right open. All three routes will do fairly well against man-to-man -man coverage. Now, the only thing that I like to do with a tight end is I like to put him on um, a either a drag route, or you could put him on a quick out. I think drag routes actually work really, really well this year. You know, so there's just a little quick drag here, and you'll see what that does is if they're if they are not in a good um, coverage package, it's going to match up their best corner onto my tight end, which is a big advantage for my two wide receivers. So what you'll see here, oh, my best corner is on the tight end. So now I know Devontae Adams is going to be running right up the seam, wide open uh, for an absolute dot against that man-to-man -man coverage. The other route that's going to get open on this play is this deep crossing route uh, to Marquez Valdez-Scantling. You'll see right there, he's going to come open against man-to-man -man coverage as well. Now, you might be asking, well, what happens when they run the purple D, right? The purple D that everyone loves, which is where they take the safeties and they put them in purple zones, and then they're going to use this guy right here. And this is what's really unique. So you see the user here is oftentimes matched up on the tailback. Well, with what that means is, if you notice, the right side linebacker is the linebacker that's matched up on, er, on, um, on Urban. So at the snap of the ball, what you'll see here is basically, effectively, we created a man switch and the user is now guarding the fullback i'm telling you right now i cannot tell you how many touchdowns i have thrown on this play because what will likely happen is the middle linebacker will very very likely um he will cover oftentimes they blitz all the linebackers this linebacker is going to cover the crossing route i can almost bet you money that's going to happen so at the snap of the ball what you're going to see with this route combination right here is your uh running back running wide open for a one play touchdown against that type of shell. A lot of people, what they'll do to stop your, um, what, what they will do to stop your, um, your, your uh, running game is they're gonna blitz all their linebackers. They may spread their line, they may do this, what, whatever, and they're gonna drop these guys in coverage. Well, what that's going to do for you is you're going to be able to see this really, really quickly. You've got a seven-man protection set up on, and you see this right here. Just lob it over the top of that purple zone, and look at that. That's a one-play touchdown against some of the most popular run defense that you're going to face in Madden 21. In fact, you might not even get that much. Like, honestly, what I've seen a lot of people do, this is what I would do. Um, if I knew you were running the ball or if I was anticipating you were running the ball, you'd see something like this right here. This is what you would see. Like this, this is what I would do to stop the run. Well, where that leaves people vulnerable now, look at this right here. This fullback route, I can't tell you how many how many times I've thrown touchdowns. Like that fullback route right there is going to score you touchdowns in this year's game. Now, what happens when they what happens when they catch you off guard, right? What happens when they run cover three and you're kind of stuck? What do you do? Well, you've got two main reads that will work. First and foremost, which I just threw it a little bit too early, had a guy in my face. The crossing route. Um, the crossing route will work against most coverages. In fact, uh, what you'll see here, uh, looks like a little bit of a match coverage right there on that, but right there you see e very easy reads against the cover four, against the cover three. For the cover two defense, I mean, pretty much every zone, unless they have their zone drop set, that's going to get open. And if they have their zone drop set, you can oftentimes throw Devontae Adams open on his post route because most of the time they're going to use her the crossing route. Most of the time, they're going to go to the crossing route and leave Devontae Adams open, which you'll see here, which I think that cover four um, was able to stop me. But what you'll see over time with this is you're going to get a lot more man coverage and you're going to get zone coverage. But what I did want to cover really quickly with the cover three, um, if they're running a lot of cover three on you, what you're going to see here is this route right here, Devontae Adams, right at that point of break is going to be able to get open against the cover three defense again remember they are probably going to be usering the middle linebacker and so by knowing that basically whoever the middle linebacker doesn't go to that's who you're going to throw to and there was a bad pass lead by Aaron Rodgers but what I was trying to do is get the ball up to my uh, up to my guy here you see here if they don't blitz you you can always release it and just hit this check down read right here to Mercedes Lewis get a couple quick yards but all in all this is a very very good play like I said I can't tell you how many times I have called this play and I have thrown an absolute touchdown over the top with the 
uh, with the fullback, but also the crossing route. And then, you know, what you'll see a lot of times is if they're running like, let's say they're running cover th- or cover two man, and maybe they drop a coverage shell over to the right to kind of help out a little bit with that um, crossing route, just lob this route up to Devontae Adams. If you've got a good wide receiver out there with 90-plus deep route running, he's going to get open every single time. So this is a very, very good play in my opinion, and I wanted to share it with you. I hope you guys enjoyed the play breakdown today. Um, but again, if you mix this in with your with your already really, really good running game from this formation, this is tough to stop. Um, the, the, the bubble screens, I'm telling you right now, they're hard to stop this year. Uh, they really are. If you see man coverage, just throw the bubble screen. I'm telling you right now, you're going to get so many um, so many touchdowns out of it. Now, if you see zone coverage, like watch this right here. If I see something like this, I see, oh, he stays. Okay, then i got to go, and I'm going to run the ball. So that's just something that you got to be able to understand. Now, against most zone coverages, honestly, you can actually throw this very, very easily. Um, you'll see right here, I can throw this bubble screen and we can get, you know, a couple yards. I can juke somebody out and whatever. But what I do want you to know is if they pass commit and if they shade their coverage underneath and if they uh, um, are in a, you know, five yard uh, cloud flat zone or hard flat zone, you're going to see it's going to be very, very difficult for you to complete this. And oftentimes you're going to throw interceptions. So that's just something I want you to be aware of. One other thing you can do with this with this um, play, with this formation, you can actually motion Devontae Adams. It's going to leave this bubble screen out here just like this. And you'll see that Adams is now on a hitch route. And he's going to get up and block for you. This is kind of a little secret tip to this formation. But just some little extras as we kind of close this video down. But a lot of cool stuff you can try. I want you to try this play out. This is going to help because, again, those under center plays, as long as you can get these quick little plays off um, in a no huddle situation when you're running the ball really well, this can really complement the running game for you uh, and get you some really, really big plays in my opinion. So I want to thank you for watching the video. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch the video. And most importantly, I do want to encourage you to join our texting membership as well as our Discord. Both are completely free to join. There are links and information in the description that will help you do that. And if you really, really want to take your Madden game seriously, I would highly encourage you to pick up a coaching session. Those are highly individualized, very detail-oriented and in-depth, personalized, individual, one-on-one -on -one coaching mentorship sessions where I can sit down with you and really dive into how do you actually become a great Madden player. Thank you so much for your time, and we'll see you on tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time.